You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And we're back with TSPN, and we have with us uh, Operation Care Prevention Outreach Specialist. Who's the Prevention Outreach Specialist, Anna or Natalie? You both are, actually. You both are. Mm -hmm. And who is Anna? I'm Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi. Anna Garcia and Natalie Vetter. Hi. How are you both doing we're today? Doing you're wide awake, right? Wide awake, yep. We're okay. Ready to go. <laughs> All right. Um, I talked about it briefly at the beginning, but you have a big event coming up, the mm -hmm. Summer Solstice? Yes, we have our Summer Solstice fundraiser um, this Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, music, food, raffle, um, $75 contribution, um, and the proceeds are going to our Fresh Start program to help our Safe House clients transition into their own house. So it's a good program and it's a good event. If people don't know, some people may be wondering what Operation mm -hmm. Care does. Um, can you give us a, a general overview? Yeah, we are Amador County's Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Crisis Center. Um, we provide crisis intervention services. Uh, we have a 24-hour crisis line. We'll go with people to the hospital, um, court accompaniment, temporary restraining orders, that sort of thing. When things happen involved with domestic mm -hmm. violence, it's a very traumatic time. So people need someone that they can kind of lean on a little yeah, bit, and, and Operation Care provides that service? Yes, and that's what our advocates are for. Um, we have, like I said, the 24-hour crisis line. They can call us if they don't want to come into the office. If they're able to come in, they can sit down and meet face-to-face -face with someone, um, and we can kind of help them kind of slow down and figure out what it is that they necessarily want to do, if they want to leave the situation, if they just want help with a restraining order, or if they just need someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. um, those are all things that we provide free of, free of charge. And you're not only intervention, <clears throat> but uh, if someone feels that something is wrong, they can give you a call before actually anything yeah, happens, definitely. which is and very we can, important. Yeah, and we can talk through, um, you know, uh, warning signs and things like that so that they have a better idea and um, are able to gauge their situation. The um, services are primarily for women, but you do provide services for men too, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, men, women, and children. But uh, as far as a safe house, that is just for the our, women? Um, our safe house is only women, but we will provide the same length of stay for a man, but it would be in a hotel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Same um, the event coming up, the, the dollars will go directly to which program? The Fresh Start program. So it's the transitional housing program. The monies can be used for helping to pay rent, um, purchasing furniture, um, appliance, um, some appliances, things like that. Because these women, they come into our safe house with nothing and they completely need to start over. So we have to be able to help them mm -hmm. transition and be able to do that. How long do most uh, our people allowed to stay in the safe house? Our safe house is a 90-day stay um, and that is kind of based on how they do in the program. There were, people are required to attend um, groups and drug tests and things like that. So as long as things are going good, they can stay up to 90 days, but there it is determined by their um, interaction with the program. Okay. And let's talk about the uh, summer youth program. You want to talk about it? Uh, we're really excited um, about our summer youth program. It's on Monday, Wednesday, Mondays and Wednesday nights at the Hub. And it's for um, ages 12 to 16. And um, we're going to do all kinds of fun things and have all kinds of activities and field trips. And we're just really excited about um, having, having a safe place for the kids to come and learn about different, um, different things. So this isn't uh, primarily for just kids that have been involved in domestic violence situations. It's for any, yeah, any, for uh, any, young, any young, young children? Young teenager yeah. teenagers that's the word I was looking for but the, uh, the hub if anyone doesn't know we're in TSPN here right on uh, Main Street mm -hmm. in Jackson it's right down below us so I, I think they cohabitate well here together so oh, yes. um, the um, what kind of programs are you gonna put on for the kids um, we're gonna talk about um, nutrition and hygiene and um, we're gonna talk about safe dating and um, healthy relationships and we're also going to cover um, social networking, um, some college stuff, finances. That social networking is really important now with the, all the media out there. I, you hear stories of um, a lot of uh, teenagers getting in trouble by, by connecting with uh, unbeknownst to them weirdos who are yeah, exactly. looking to prey on, on young people. Mm -hmm. So it's very important. Yeah, our goal is kind of to, with that is to kind of open their eyes so that they realize that just because you put it out there and delete it doesn't mean it's completely gone. And it's really easy for people to disguise themselves and um, kind of seek out victims that way. 
And that, the GO, is that with this program or is that Yeah, so um, GO, okay, so we have Operation Care and then GO is under Operation Care. It's just the youth um, facet okay. of what we do. So it's kind of its own separate little program. So mm -hmm. the sometimes there's a stigma with the kids as far as, oh, I go to Operation Care. So people associate them with a domestic right. violence and sexual assault. But GO is just kind of a complete violence-free overview program. So. And the hub is getting a really good reputation uh, with ACRA putting on great programs, yeah. after school programs, but uh, summer school programs. So mm -hmm. I think it's a good uh, affiliation that yeah. you help with them. We're actually looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. I, I saw on the poster two things, uh, meals and transportation could yes. be provided. We are feeding dinner and um, if people need a ride, they just give us a call. We can come pick them up. Um, if they're kind of on the outskirts where we have gas cards that we can provide parents so that if they can get them part way or however we can mm -hmm. meet up and make it work. So uh, if they live in uh, Pioneer or something, they m might want to try to meet you halfway. Yeah, if they can meet like us, that. you know, part way or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If not, they we can go get them if need be. So. Well, is that program operating now and will it be operating all summer long? Yes, it's um, operating now. It started um, actually on Monday and it's at 5.30 to 7.30. And it runs through July 30th, July 31st? Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, if people ask, what are they going to be doing, playing video games there or or just sitting around watching TV? Um, well, we're kind of doing, we're going to be having a lot of guest speakers and then interactive. We have some games and stuff that go along with the curriculum and classes that we teach. Um, then the guest speakers will be there. And it's kind of just like an open forum where like the, I'm going to probably learn as much from them as they're going to learn from me is my hope. because. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times that's how it works with the kids they know a lot more than we do so yeah. um, it's just gonna it's not gonna be it's not like a playtime or anything like that it's right. more educational so you think um, it'd be a good appeal there for the kids to show up something like that are you having good response so far um, not so far but we do have um, some incentives if you bring a friend you get a $50 visa gift card Wow um, and then there's a number of different um, gift cards that'll be given out for different activities that we do as prizes and then um, at the end there's a back-to-school backpack that has all the supplies that you'll need um, and that sort of thing. Um, if someone wants to contact uh, uh, Operation Care and talk about summer solstice or get tickets for that or the, um, the uh, kids program, summer youth program, what's the phone number or website? Uh, the, it's operationcare.org and the phone number is 223-2897. Okay. Well, it sounds like a... A lot of activities going on, but the one imminent is this Saturday, June 21st, mm -hmm. at uh, Sierra Ridge Winery. Sierra Ridge Winery. And the summer solstice, that you know, $75, a lot of that money goes to um, to take care of people that are really in need. So mm -hmm. Go straight to them. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you, ladies, for All being right. here. Well, thank you for having us. I appreciate you being here. And we are going to go to a uh, break and then uh, go right over to our next segment. Check out our new website up.